on my Okami review, I got a couple of comments saying that people couldn't get their controllers to talk with that specific game. And that seemed very unusual to me, especially since Okami does have native Steam controller support. So obviously internally, somebody used a Steam controller to talk to it. Because of that, I've decided to make this video to walk you through some of the basic troubleshooting steps that I go through when my controller is not talking to the machine. So one of the first things that you want to check is that you do have the controller settings enabled. To do that, you need to go into the controller section of the Steam settings tab and then click on general controller settings. And from there, it'll pop up a big picture-esque window that you can use to make sure that your specific controller has been enabled to be seen in the games. Also, if you're not using big picture mode in order to actually launch your games, you're also going to want to make sure that you open the in-game section under the settings tab and make sure that use big picture overlay when using a Steam controller from the desktop is checked. Sometimes if you don't use big picture mode, it's not going to be able to communicate with the controller configuration software. So clicking that will make it so that your controller responds to the game a bit more reliably. Another common reason that I've found that the Steam controller configurator might not talk to the games is if the game and Steam have different administrative levels because that way the user account control is going to stand in between the software and they won't be able to talk to each other. So another thing that I recommend is if you're already launching Steam in administrative mode and your controller is not talking to the game, try launching it with administrative mode disabled and that way it should allow it to communicate with the game a bit more effectively. Or if you don't have administrative mode enabled, try turning it on. There are some games that actually respond better when you have Steam launched in administrative mode. This is especially true of older games that were created when XP was still a big thing and user account control didn't exist in Windows. And there are some newer games especially that don't respond at all in administrative mode for security reasons. That's something that you might want to toggle on a per game basis. Another thing that can be causing these kinds of issues is if you have conflicting overlays such as the, uh, the Windows game bar, the, I think Nvidia and AMD have overlays that they can in inject into the game. Uh, I know Origin and Uplay do. So you want to make sure that all of the non-Steam overlays are disabled when, when you're launching your game, because sometimes those will conflict and that way your game won't be able to talk to the Steam controller software because it just can't see that overlay. Anyway, those are the most common reasons that I see that the Steam controller won't talk to a specific piece of software. There are more that I'm not specifically going to, to go into, but without knowing the specifics of how your machine is set up, it's impossible for me to say exactly what is causing your Steam controller not to, to talk to Steam and to not send the correct information to the game that you're playing. So it, it, if you want help, it, it definitely helps if you can tell me uh, which version of Windows you're running on, uh, whether you are streaming your game through a, a Steam link and sending your controller information that way. A any information that you can tell me uh, about the hardware that you're running the Steam controller software on is also useful information for troubleshooting those kinds of issues. It all kind of depends. So 
I would recommend going through those initial troubleshooting steps and if it's still not working then feel free to post in the comments below and let me know some specific information uh, about your machine so that I can uh, look for specific troubleshooting steps for your particular setup and I'll definitely see what I can I can do. I do like to help people when they when they are struggling with the Steam controller. It's the whole reason why I launched this YouTube channel. I can't always get to every single comment, and I may not be able to answer your question. I'm 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 not completely flawless with this thing, but I'll see what I can do. And so, feel free to re respond to the, to this video with any information you have. And for now. I'm going to sign off. This is Leo Damascus, and I'll see you in the next club meeting. Take care, guys.